Welcome back to Oxhouse TV. That was just Katie and Paul doing the ab workout Mark posted a few episodes ago. So if anyone else wants to give it a try, have a go and let us know how you got on. Next up though, we've got a little treat for you. So I gave Luke a little challenge today. Um, some of you know Luke and Claire, some of you don't. So they're both members at the old gym and Luke also coached for us for a while and they've moved away. So Check us out guys, this is the day in the life of Luke and his diet. Hi Ox House, so Adam's asked me to take you through what I eat in a typical day. It's 7.30, we've just got up, it's Easter Sunday, so here we go. Cook faster woman, I'm blogging. Trying. So break fast, we have 100ml egg white omelette with one egg, spinach, tomatoes, mushrooms, bit of turmeric and salt and a pepper. Uh, half a bagel, wholemeal bagel. And then on the side we have a coffee with just skim milk. Uh, chuck in there some collagen protein and MCT oil to help fat burn in. Collagen's good for skin, do some research. A uh, bit of orange juice for the extra vitamin C during the coronavirus. And obviously standard multivit, cod liver oil and vitamin D. Eat up. So it's half nine and I'm eating again. I'm out of control. Now we're going to a bit of a pre-workout shake. Try and eat most of my calories around training, uh, especially during this bodybuilding malarkey to make sure I'm not training in a depleted state. Uh, but we're going for a cycle in about half an hour's time. So we're gonna have a almond milkshake, banana, double shot of coffee in there with some honey, um, mixed with a dark chocolate flapjack, which I'll show you now. So main goal here is to try and get some carbs, fats, and a little bit of protein in before I train to make sure I'm not de training depleted. These are amazing, just made from oats, butter, and honey. I think it's 400 grams of oats, 200 grams of butter, 200 grams of honey, um, and then just some dark chocolate on top. And I switched to almond milk just to lower the calorie content of the milk really, but it's got added calcium, so. Time to go for a spin. Just got back from cycling, snack two, we got yogurt, fruit, blueberries, strawberries, pumpkin seeds, some chia seeds, pumpkin seeds are good for the prostate, Claire told you that, she's a nurse, and banana protein shake with creatine, and another coffee, just a single this time. What was that Claire? What was the purpose of that meal? To shove more food in your gob. No, the actual purpose, and Rocco will tell you this, is to replace glycogen after a strenuous workout. Strenuous? It was very strenuous. <laughs> Didn't obviously go out for longer than an hour. And, because protein's good for recovery. Before I forget, chucking two of these in as well. Vitamin C. It's 2.30, it's lunchtime. We have, um, what's it, a white rice risotto that Claire made yesterday with some bacon that my mates bought from the butchers. I trimmed the fat off, she went ape shit, but clean life. Um, with some choice of veg, always trying to have two or three veg. We've got carrot, uh, green beans, and asparagus. An unnamed marine masters athlete once told me about the uh, anabolic effects of asparagus. After eating it solely for one week, he managed to gain two kilos. Normally we'll have a fairly lean meat with lunch, like chicken or fish, but wait, what are you doing? 
Stacy told me they make massive. <laughs> Another coffee. So this is it, main event. We got lamb chump, is that right? Yeah. Roasted parsnips, carrots, some uh, broccoli sprouts, roasty potatoes cooked in coconut oil and gravy. But that'll be it, this will be the main meal. Sunday fun day. Is it an Easter Sunday without roasting a really? So just before I go to bed, I'll have a casein protein shake. Um, but that's it, 3,000 calories, too much caffeine, most likely, but that's what the last eight weeks have looked like, and the next 12 will look very different. Hope you've enjoyed it, stay safe, peace. Defying the laws of gravity. We all know you do, Louis. Too slow. <laughs>